Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with only uh, niche builds and off meta, so to speak, items. A couple of items are banned, our hit points are reduced, enemies are stronger with a better advent and a better chosen. And we're on top of that in a moderately difficult mission to get an engineer back, potentially even fighting against the assassin. The negative news is that uh, the top team is still tired, so it's time to bring out team B. And today we're having Toxic, Halop, Sue Cougar, Hunk and Mike Public Bravo with us. This grenade here does not exist. We only have uh, one of each item, no duplicates are allowed, so he's essentially going empty. And yeah, that is a fantastic squad, uh, potentially not in the current state of the game though. They are a bit underleveled and under-equipped, so just my type of T going in uh, with uh, the B team into something that is incredibly dangerous. Let's go, boys. Good, so the relay is up here and that looks like the good old XCOM 1 bar scene. Oh, I love that tile set. And we got some high ground over here, which is heaven sent. Beat, beat. My game just knows how much I love high ground. It must know that, elsewise it wouldn't give me so much high ground to work with. Mike Republic Bravo says thank you, and moves up. So does Sue Cougar and Hunk. We got that huge warehouse here. And as soon as we spot some more advent, those guys plus the advent uh, could start fighting one another. Gotta be careful with the data transfer timer though. Okay, there is some advent. Fair enough. Mike takes the best position, which would arguably be here. Good copy. Moving on target. You cougar. Do we have a tower to hack somewhere? Apparently not. Good copy. Over there. And let's spread out just a bit. Without the introduction of human DNA, oh, look at that. Vipers. Under the guise of fin men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No well, at least the enemies there should no trigger one another now. Are you kidding me? Okay, well. If that's not triggering them... And I don't know what will. I I Very good. Well, this guy here might die right away. Ah, I was hoping for an explosion so that the Viper will take some nice little damage. Viper decides to move up. So does the next team. The reason why I'm not that afraid to pull multiples is we have a lot of losses. And now the fun begins. Alright, good. I want to hold back the frag grenade just in case the lost is uh, the chosen is showing up. There are plenty of losts that are already showing up. Gotcha. Hmm. 
This position here from Toxic is dangerous. Can't let him stay there forever. And that's not a 100% kill. Good. We're moving off, uh, out to make sure that we're essentially not standing too close together we do not want to provoke grenades chance to hit the viper but what i really want to do is kill some of the advent guys spreading out nicely Seventy percent to hit the sniper. I, I think I'll take those odds. We have a hundred percent chance to kill him now. Might as well take that and start cleaning up the battlefield. The car is burning, that is good. Well, that's helpful for us. Leaving the loss out there is helpful for us as well. 60% chance against the officer. Fortunately a miss, but I would have taken that ch uh, chance yet again if the game would have offered it to me. We got a block here, elsewise they are coming up. Kill but if we can kill both of them, then we are allowed to move and essentially leave our position because those are not fast enough. Moving. We could use a smoke grenade. I mentioned that before. Not the worst decision. The other option that we do have is fifty fifty this guy here. Hmm. Well that could kill uh that could trigger even more losts. Or a really solid start with a, with a viper. I think given that we're standing uh, longer, uh, that we're going to spend some more time up here, and we haven't used the smoke grenade, this is one of the rare occasions where it actually sort of makes sense. Having that extra defense, essentially making it full cover. She is low profile, which is a problem. Shell shocked. Uh, I remember that from uh, our last encounter. And she hates skirmishers, which I can't do much about. At least not right now. Our skirmisher is not here. The chosen assassin is moving near your position. Stay on guard, people. All right, not the worst. Just a bit of binding damage, that is okay. That, on the other hand, is a problem now. What will you do when they can no longer fight? Oh, wow, okay, well, well, that changes things. That changes things.
Come on, at least hit some of them. Please. Well, with the explosion, I think we're uh, going to see even more loss. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this here turns into a slapstick. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the obvious choices. Hundred percent shot on the Viper. I also need to deal with the purifier sooner or later, rather, sooner than later. And we got to deal with a viper. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. X-ray neutralized. Oh. Uh, hmm. Locking off that other entrance will be helpful because I think there is already a lost down there. The Desher could be nasty. Yeah, we gotta hit the Viper. But it would also be good to hit uh, and kill one of those losts. Let's try to risk it nah, not worth it okay that's a hundred percent kill let's hit the viper unfortunately she dodged Moving into a better spot. One down. Two down, and then let's go for the Viper afterwards. to use a flashbang grenade I think he can't use grenades afterwards so not the worst idea if that was to hit it would actually oh, that would be that would be good I like the idea can kill one of the lost Good. We're taking out this guy and then the Viper. Nailed him. There we go. One pick down. down. Halo takes the eight protocol just in case. And this should prevent a grenade from the purifier as well as markings. Oh, 
On the other hand, if they continue to hit all of the shots, there is only so much I can do. Luckily, it seems they are not, which is good. As long as the losses are there, the Chosen also can't just sneak up. She would be spotted out. Which is kind of an extra layer of defense if you think about it. Because you really don't want to deal with her. That is a problem if they get into our smoke. Because Loss will also get the defense bonus from the smoke. Are you kidding me? Oh wow, it was a... Uh, it was a... Lost um, Dasher, I suppose. Oh, wow. Well. Just out of curiosity, uh, we can't. I can only heal ourselves. Okay, we gotta reload and deal with that shit. Those dashes here are a problem. So are the lost brutes. Hung reloads. Okay, we're not going to yet heal ourselves. Maybe we need the shot for something else. Couple more losses that need to die. I think we are going for the purifier next. The threat of a grenade is too much to deal with, at least from my perspective. Now we'll leave him be, he's just burning, for now that is fine, reloading just in case, and let's go for the purifier. Reloading, and even if that does not hit, it uh, we could finish with the pistol. Continuing to molest uh, that advent. Very nice. That's a fantastic kill. And I think Hunk will get four hit points which only leaves Halo heavily wounded. Not sure why that exploded. Not sure why that exploded. I hope it was not due to the Chosen. This round the Chosen should be inside, so she might be here.
Okay, so a couple of things really. This uh, thing is burning, so not sure if I really want to go there. Not yet. Understood. Moving out. We gotta spot out the chosen. Trying to get a couple of angles where we might be able to find the Chosen. That's really the most I can do in order to spot her out. Can't find her yet. We still haven't found her. This is a tense moment. Certainly doesn't help that we're not hitting any of the shots. get there. Good to go. I hate to do it because we had such a nice high ground position. But we're getting an equally nice one up here. Now we're going to get stomped. Unfortunate. Bleeding out, but is never good. Okay, the unique option to reload. And let's put a nice little frag grenade right there. It won't destroy the cover, but maybe it explodes it, and that would be golden. Not quite there yet. So this is effectively flanking. It's not great, but it is better than nothing. I was hoping for a tiny bit more than just an, a normal hit. We're looking at 40%. Okay, fantastic. fan fucking -tastic. Can't let that Desher just stay there. Unfortunately, not a kill. 
Halo of Overwatches, and that's it. Okay. Not sure what exactly that guy is. He looks like a shock trooper of some sort. Well, the explosion at least would have damaged her. Highly unfortunate that she faded away. Well, maybe she did not. Maybe. <laughs> okay, well, she's dead now. Fantastic. Uh, did we have no ah the extra stock uh, for two points of damage is over here for the love of god but we do have a second stock here and the good news is I think we can hit her. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So she's going to go down either way. Which is what I was saying beforehand. Copy that. Alop slowly but surely moves up and misses. Not what I was expecting. Let's protect our front line. Drop in. Lock in. We are reloading. move here but that would be dangerous problem is the car might explode as well and someone needs to go, uh, go over here let's first of all see if we can actually kill her with the hit before making any rush any hasty decisions come on I mean, the only downside here would be to deal with the losts. Missed. This car is burning, I hate it. But it is already... It has already exploded, so I suppose we're fine. So let's aid protocol ourselves. And make sure that a chosen dies. Okay, wow. Three more rounds for the data transfer, which is our next big problem. Excellent work, Commander. 
We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least we've held off the chosen for another. Oh, day. shotgun kind of trooper, oh boy. And lots of overwatch. Well, you don't want to mess with that guy. Luckily his overwatch got immediately triggered. I think he has two overwatches. No, only one. Okay. Okay, I'll do a, man a maneuver that I might regret later. Aye, aye. Hold still. Good, we can still get out of here. Fantastic. Might be lacking the damage now. Not sure. We gotta get closer to the target though. We're still okay. Oh, I think we're still okay. Headed there now. This should deal with the shotgun guy. Shotgun trooper, it is. Okay, before we're doing anything... Alright, that's a hit. Reload. That should be another hit. Okay, fantastic. And how about charging in? That will give us some more <coughs> proximity to the to the actual target. Nailed him. Closing on target. Hunk also now. moves in, and we should be fine overall. Got a scope here. I've got it. And we got a heavily, heavily Solid injured contact. soldier. So Mike escorts them out. The idea now is to not trigger another swarm. Roger that. But essentially just kill the target and end the mission. Minimum damage. And this could be the end. Let's do this. Moving to Overwatch. Well, maybe not entirely. I do not think that we need to fight all of the lost. Well, maybe we need to, because it says eliminate all enemy targets. And there are quite a few hostile targets here. Come 
can't run away from the dashers, so might as well execute them. Minimum damage, that is unfortunate. Solid copy. Moving over here. Ah, this guy here is too close. He could reach us. So, I'll just move back even outside of the explosion range of that still burning car. Yeah, that's the problem with the dashers. They are just continuing to run and run and run. X-ray down. Running dry. You must be kidding me. Let's rock. That's a hundred percent kill thanks to the stock. further back and for once let's take the high ground here I hope that that is the last uh, the last of them once we uh, kill them we should be good soldiers are taking quite a bit of a beating here Alop is going to start this off by hopefully killing all of the lost, really. That's a hundred percent kill. Let's rock. Come on, Toxic. Enemy down. Hostile neutralized. Ready to engage. Drain and ammo fast. Ready to go. Where is the enemy? It says neutralize all enemies. I think we can't just go yet. Back in business. But for whatever reason, there's maybe a pack left. I highly doubt it because we've killed almost all of them. But yeah, then again, the loss continue to appear. That is strange. Maybe there is a pack further up in there. But if that's the case, we gotta go in as S3. And we've lost, lost a lot of our juice, right? So we've lost two members, effectively. One needing to carry the other one out. But that in itself is already a huge uh, blowback for us. If you put on uh, on top of that, that we've used most of our cooldowns. Enemy eliminated. Could use some ammo over here. It's down. Oh yeah. 
Then all that's really left is trying to kill these dashers. Like I said, something is off. I'm pretty sure we had killed all of uh, the enemy packs. I'm pretty sure we have killed all of uh, them. Another problem if we were really to engage another pack is we have, I think, one flashbang and that is it. And we're low on health. Uh, two of our soldiers are one shots at this point. wondering if we would uh, succeed on the mission if we were to just depart now. Hedop certainly is carrying his weight with a shotgun. We're fighting just against the lost. Okay, so I see what it is. There is one pack of lost somewhere here left over. And I think we got to find them. Else, there's no advent movement. Uh, that tells me there is one original pack of lost somewhere here. And we still have to find them. And eventually eliminate them. Potentially either around this corner or the other one. Overwatch. Overwatch. Come get Problem that I'm also foreseeing is we have quite a bit of losses that are regularly spawning and we can't just deal with them. Uh, the other option is that the pack is over there. I haven't scouted all of that out. My, my spider senses are tingling again. Something is awkwardly wrong. Yet another lost swarm. Gotta be careful with those, can't just let them live. Yeah, I didn't get it. And it seems like three is sort of the minimum amount of soldiers that we need in order to just like keep this position. Dealing with the dashers themselves is an issue. Okay, so come on. We gotta deal with the dashers first. Been over here. X ray neutralized. Playing a dangerous game at some point, they will rush into us and eventually catch up. So I'm checking whether or not it's over here. Haven't found anyone. Overwatch. I don't like the fact that this car is burning.
All right, so potentially the last lost pack is on the other side, like right over here. Not sure about it, but that's the only explanation I do have. Good. And at this point here, things are... They just keep on coming. Things are not looking good for us. We gotta find a way to stop that pain train. Okay. Double move. Just far away from... From that lost... And we're eventually going to the other side. Alright, Overwatch. Okay. Copy that. Moving up. Yeah, I can't just go there. That's also not how it works. I gotta make room for the chance, at least, that there are losses over there. Which means, unfortunately, we need to sort of slowly crawl our way there. Come on, there must be some. Both of them are moving up. On my way. Come get some. Eyes this area is hot. Okay, we at least got a sound clue of where the enemy could be. Alright, what are we dealing with? What's what kind of hack can we get? That is perfect. I think that that here isn't too bad. So I'm low-key hoping we would fail the hack. Alright, dodge chance increased. That is fine. Lot of lots of Overwatch and again moving back because the swarm will appear now. Yeah, we gotta get closer into the middle of that. Unfortunately. Okay, Whew. so let's start investigating the building in a second. Just one more wave of loss. They could reach us. Which is scary. Moving to designated coordinates. Maximum read, a uh, maximum range. Kill confirmed. Reloaded. Run and dry on ammo. Roger that. I am just careful with the dashers, that's all. Overwatch. They are fast and once they are at you they, they deal enough damage to, to knock you down. Trying to be aggressive enough 
to actually get these guys down and proceed but at the same time I gotta respect the them for being super fast and able to hit us Okay, we're doing well. So far things are working out reasonably well. doesn't really make much sense to use a shotgun on those huge distances but yeah I gotta keep them in order to not uh, to not risk being hit unfortunately all of this here is open so there's really not that much high ground where I could just get a nice little fortress and build that up okay so the air cover. Enemy down. Give me some ammo over here. Enemies down. Let's hit these guys and kill them. Negative ammo, I'm spent. I got nothing. Okay, time to move up. Hey look, has enough ammunition. I'm staying out of the explosion range of the car. X-ray down. Running dry. I think we gotta reload, and then next turn we can move in and investigate. Back in business. Ooh, this is more tougher than expected. Opening the door. Something needs to be there. On the move. Are they on the rooftop? No, they are not. But the rooftop allows us to potentially drop back here and take a sneak peek. Okay, well, a look moves a tiny bit further back, and yet another lost swarm. Let's see what we're dealing with. It might be that we've just found that extra swarm. Not sure. Maybe. Okay, so far so good. That's 100% kill. Definitely moving far enough away so that we're not the main target here. And we're overwatching. Okay, cool. Maybe those few 
on the counter that just couldn't jump down are the sound blips that we're hearing. Who knows? But yeah, all of them can actually jump down, so I'm not sure. No longer a threat. Really, I'm I think I'm not getting it. Let's kill. Got to get a bit uh, further back and respect their range. I'm under the impression that the mod has actually allowed them to start charging, uh, charging in and taking uh, attacks afterwards. All right, reload and overwatch. Hunk is currently a bit behind enemy lines. Not even close. Ready to engage. Toxic continues to do what he's supposed to do, which is essentially clearing all out all of uh, those guys. We can take one hit if needed. That's unfortunate. Solid copy. Come get some. All right. Starting to move in with everyone now. I think there is only one or two of them left. And soon the next swarm will come up, so we got to do something about this. Hundred percent kill. No longer a threat. Moving out. is unfortunate I was definitely hoping that we would have a better chance yeah there's one guy up here and this guy is causing the entire problem let's cluster up Hunk is moving up as well. Overwatching and overwatching. We will need to go through yet another swarm. Boy, oh boy, that is so disappointing. One of them standing on top of that bar. There are quite a few um, lost coming up here. Copy that. All right, gotta help Hunk up there, elsewise we do have a problem. Now we do have a problem. That's a hundred percent kill. Nailed them. Ready to rock. No route. Target neutralized. Yeah, I didn't get it. 
That is highly disappointing. We're potentially going to lose one of our agents up here. Unless... I can move over here. And overwatch. That could still mean that if the guy moves in, we can shoot him from down here. Nope. Another dasher triggers. And that's the problem. We're just out, out gun. Rip. I don't want to deal with that. It's not a hundred percent chance to hit. I'll give it one more attempt. And if not, we gotta... Uh, we gotta go. Wouldn't have guessed that Lost at, at some point would be able to just push us out of a map. But there's only so much I can do. Alright, hedging against the potential of effectively missing. I'm on the move. Enemy eliminated. Okay, so far so good. We're still in it. In it to win it. Alright, keep it going. Yeah. We will need to have some RNG in order to pull this one off now. And it's potentially not happening. Alright, unless this is going to be a solid sweep. We will need to declare that this mission is over. But Hunk does not want to give up. That's the tension. Those are the moments that... I love to record. Can't be minimum damage. It's not. Hunk, you beast. No! <laughs> he misses the last shot. Alright, so. We prevented the. We prevented the. Dark, e uh, dark event. We got some ability points. Lost the squaddy in return. And I don't know if the rating poor is the correct one. Overall, the B team really got shafted. They got dealt a not so positive hand. I could have pulled back with Halop and uh, Hunk and just let the Grenadier tank and take all of the damage. Well, Halo. Fantastic. You did well. And we got some blast padding here. Toxic killed 35 by himself. We got some Comet Protocol over here. Sue Cougar will be out for over a month. We got Hunk out for 44 days. Okay, well, and Mike the Public Bravo 
We'll get that return fire going. We got a scope. Commander. We prevented sealed armor, which would have made uh, the enemies immune to all of uh, the uh, to all of the normal physical effects. And yeah, not a surprise. Those guys have taken a beating. Well, from time to time you're losing a mission. It is what it is. Setting course for the West African sector. It was a good attempt. We haven't lost much. Reading you loud and clear. New regional contact located. And, just where do you... and there's the hunter. I was just wondering when we would see the next shows. So rapid collection is something that I would want to have. I think that is fantastic. Pursuit of knowledge, 20% research. That's also not bad. Suit up could be interesting for this run. And we're starting to install a radio relay over here. And there is Zirkim taking up the blade. We just lost a ranger. And it's time for another ranger to replace him. And whilst we're at it, I think if my memory serves me well, we had two specialists that were out for a month. Might as well train another specialist. Oh, and let's shall not forget to color code Zirkim. Yes, let's use a bond that is good and with another ranger Zirgum hopefully will be more successful to be honest I can't really blame him like Hunk did what he could and just out of curiosity I think we lost yeah, we, we also lost our armor that was on Hunk. Too bad. The results of our breakthrough were and finally, advancing. sniper rifles improve plus one damage. Plated armor inspired. Oh yeah, hell yeah, we're going to do that. I will begin our research immediately. From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security. The only disadvantage of plated armor is all of the extra slots that we're getting might not might not yet be that useful for us. We got enough power, so that's fine. Can't really do anything. We're lacking another engineer because we didn't get that one. And yeah, now the game becomes finally a bit more gritty and dark. Aliens get more avatar progress. Commander, that is fine. Set back the aliens work on the avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. We had some wounded soldiers. And we got two more promotions. That's exactly what I was looking for. Two days rest. They'll be ready to get back into it. We got, did we just get sab sabotage? Remove one block of avatar progress at the end of every month. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, good game. That is such a strong ability. Gain more resistance contacts. Well, that would be not too bad. And a promotion on top of it. I think that's great. Plus four aim isn't bad either, but the promotion really is good. Might as well put that onto our sniper who just had been promoted. And give them another rookie to work with. There is a chance, a low chance of an ambush. Can she survive that by herself? Potentially not with a rookie, but we could put a ranger in here. And that should be fine. That extra resistance contact is not too bad. Uh, it allows us to expand further. And her promotion is the real reason why I wanted to select that. The other option 
would be to get some aim and maybe some other resistance orders. Hmm. There is also an ambush chance, but essentially For instance, having Wurtz with more aim would not be a bad idea, wouldn't it? I think that's actually a pretty decent idea. And I get more uh, uh, resistance orders. This one here isn't bad either. The promotion really is intriguing. I think we're going for the promotion. I think we're going for the promotion. And the rookie step we put on here can now be promoted as well. Got another sniper, which isn't bad. So that definitely has worked out well. And what else do we get? Promoted soldier. That's another ranger. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if we can even <clears throat> use all of them in combat so far. Only a limited amount of soldiers have seen action. But yeah, eventually we will get there. Specialist training is still warranted. We got three grenadiers, four rangers, four sharpshooters, then four specialists. So the last one becomes another grenadier and we're good to go. Roster is deep enough. I think we're fine. And look at that, we got ourselves another mission. Operation Tomb Prince will be the next retaliation mission. Luckily, the Chosen will not be on that mission because we've just fought her. So that'll be interesting. Um, we can't really get Mimic Beacons out of the Faceless ones because Mimic Beacons are banned. But maybe we'll get something else that is uh, worth our, uh, our search. That will happen the next time. If you enjoyed that slog of a mission, uh, leave a comment down below. Please let me know if you had uh, thought that it was doable and if you had, had a different approach. I think with the Grenadier I could have maybe played more aggressively. But boy oh boy, three um, squaddies versus hordes of, um, of loss isn't an easy prospect, specifically if you need to push it. Anyways, leave that comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.